If I had a nickel for every time I reviewed an Esper Sphinx commander that presented the illusion of choice, I would have two nickels. And I would hate nickels. First up, the card is a 3-5. Nobody minds a big butt, but it's also got flying, vigilance, and menace. And at that point, just say you can't fight. I know these keywords are normally supposed to impress upon us how good the card is at fighting, but as soon as I see flying and menace, I immediately know the only part of a fight you are any good at is ducking that shit. This is like that kid in middle school who had crap to talk about everybody but pretended he had rabies as soon as you got close. The only people alive that are going to have the necessary two flyers to get into an altercation with this thing were the dragon players, and you see the blue and the white up there? They were counterspelled out of this game three hours ago. Let's move on to the real bullshit. Whenever Yannette attacks, you reveal the top card of your library. If its mana cost is odd, you get it for free. If it's even, you still get it? This is some heads I win, tails you lose horseshit, and at this point, I just want to know what it's going to take for wizards to give us a card with an actual risk-reward ratio. I realize casting it for free is far better than drawing it, but the worst case scenario is the blue player draws a card? You gotta be fucking joking me, right? Give me something, give me something I can respect. You know what? Tell me, tell me if it's odd, you get to cast it for free. If it's even, you gotta send a risky text to your crush. Those are stakes I can get behind. But even if the card had real stakes, do you know how big a deal it is to force us to build a deck that only has odd mana values? Because that answer is not at all. Most of us have autism, and we were building our decks like that anyway, because 5 is a better number than 4 and 6. But now we arrive at the big question. Can Yannette get it? I'm going to make it purges for the clout. Nobody text me. i got to go think about what's happened to my life.